Hello guys, my name is Sir Mansoor Shinsha and welcome to my channel Word of Coding. So here I am with a new video. In the previous video, we discuss about a while loop and we print a table in a while loop. So in this video, I want to print a table again in a while loop, but that time in increment uh, decrement. Like uh, it will start from ten and go and move toward one. Okay, like inverted table. So how uh, we can do it? Let's code for it. Again, including. Including I stream library, I stream using namespace std int man. Okay, entering a man body. So here I am taking one variable a which will be initialized from ten. It will be initialized from ten. Okay, and again I am taking one more variable with the name of table, and it will start for I want to execute that time a table. Okay, so. From that purpose, I do what while while a greater than or equal to one, you have to print what you have to see out. You have to see out uh, what it. Uh, sorry, it not table table strik a and then e and deal that it was uh, that each printing will be uh, start of uh, it will print after one like uh, uh, like eighty and then seventy two and then so on. Okay, and then a minus minus a minus minus, and here return zero. Return zero. Okay, let's run it. Okay, so see this. Ten, nine, eight, and so on, and it will go toward one. Okay, similarly, uh, how it work? It work like similarly like in a previous video idea I says about uh, uh, increment. So it will work like similarly first. We have a which uh, which start from ten, okay. So ten greater than one, okay. It will print like uh, uh, eight multiply by ten. Eight multiply by ten is equal to eighty. And then a will be minus minus like uh, it's mean that a equal to it's mean that a equal to a minus one. So a now ten, and now ten. So ten minus one is equal to nine. So nine greater than then it will print a, uh, eight multiply by nine and then so on. It will print like that. So let's go toward a do and while loop. So do and while loop similarly work like a while loop. But one thing is actually this we said that do do that thing and while we have given a condition do that thing. But how much time? Okay. Like here I am taking again int a which is five which is initialized from. Five. Now I'm just going to initialize it from one. Okay, that time from one. I want to first do an increment. Okay, do do that thing. Do what? C out. C plus plus coding. C out. C plus plus coding. With with word of coding. With word of coding and giving a little bit space. Okay. And now a will be increment a plus plus, and then condition while how much time you want to execute that? I want to execute that whenever a less than five, whenever a reach five. So you have to terminate this program. Okay, now let's run. Okay, let's check it out. So see this. It will execute only one time. Why? Why it execute only one time? Let me check. Okay, if I get less than. Now let's run it. Yep, see this. It was used five times. So how it work? Let's uh, let explain it. Okay, so first time, a equal to one. So a initialized now. A is over here. A is initialized from one. A equal to one. So it will go over there and print this and print this whole thing. C plus plus coding with a little bit space which I give. Okay, it will print this all. Okay, with the spacing here I give a space. Okay. And then it will go downside. So a is now one. So a equal to a plus one. So a what? A is one. So one plus one equal to two. So it will go over there. It will go over there and check the condition two uh, is two less than or equal to five. Yep, two is less than uh, less than five. So it will go upside and now a become two. It will print again this and two plus one is equal to three. So it will print again. Uh, uh, it will go down uh, downside and three less than five. Yep, condition is true. So now a become three. Now it's print again this thing and three plus one is equal to now four. Okay, 
3 plus 1, 4. So, 4 is less than or equal to 5. Yep, condition is true. It will go again upside and 4. Now, print this and 4 plus 1 is equal to 5. So, 5 less than or equal to 5. Now, 5 is not less than uh, to 5, but it is equal. So, it will uh, also the condition is again true. Condition is again true. So, 5 and it will print again this, print again this and then the and then when uh, it becomes 5 plus 1 5 plus 1 so it becomes 6 now 6 less than or equal to 5 now condition is not true so the program has been terminated let me show its printing as well so here i am just print a with it as well and giving a little bit space over there like this like that type okay like that type so let's check it out so see this it initiate, uh, I initialize it from 1, a equal to 1. So 1, 2, 3, and then 4, and then 5, similar like I explained, okay? So this is about do and why loop. If you like my works, please subscribe to my channel. And also from more video like that, and also press the bell icon whenever I upload a new video, you will get a notification. Okay, guys? Thank you for watching this video. Thank you very much and have a nice day. And also for Muslims, Ramadan Mubarak. Allah Hafiz and have a nice day.